In this video, I'm going to show you track lanes advanced in Reaper. So this is part two of track lanes advanced in Reaper. Now we could also create multiple comps. So we could right click again, go to comping, comp into new empty lane and create a whole new comp up here. But again, let's do it the other way. Undo, comp into new empty lane, automatically creating comp areas, which are based on these areas we already chose. So now we could try this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we're just gonna hear those choices. which could be different from this comp. So we can compare different comps and choose our favorite. And also while comping comp two, we could still choose pieces from comp one. We'll choose them directly from the source lanes. And we can create as many comps as we want. Now, if we want to record later in the song, let's go over here. By default, Reaper's going to start on lane one instead of on the comp lanes, assuming we still want to use these lanes for recording. Usually, you don't want to record into your comp lane. You want to comp into it later. So we could start on lane one and just punch in when we get past this point. And notice Reaper put that on lane one because I punched in after this point. If I punched in before, it would create a new lane. And if I record again, it's going to start on lane two. And the same if we record again. Now we can comp these pieces. Just double click in the lane we want to comp into. Make sure we create some comp areas. We can choose them. We can create smaller comp areas and choose that way. And again, we can create multiple comps, go up here and try different options. And choose between them later, comp one and comp two. Now, if we decide we want to re-record in one of our lanes, let's say we're not happy with lane two, instead of recording a whole new lane, we could record right into this lane. Just right click, go to recording, and instead of using record into first available lane, we could record into this lane. See the red dot that shows up right here? Letting us know we're gonna record over this piece. Although by default, Reaper's gonna create takes. So now we have takes within a lane, which you could use if you want, but most likely we want to record over this lane. So instead we can go to options, new recording that overlaps existing media items and change it to trim existing items or tape mode. So now if we record in this section, it's going to replace that phrase. We do the same for lane three, go to recording, record into this lane, and re record this lane. In 
and turn it off. When we're done, so now it's going to record into the next available empty lane. And we can recomp using these pieces, just like this, hitting the T key, and recomp either comp we want. Now we could also reorder our lanes. Just drag over here, put lane one down here, or up here, put the comp down here, move lane one back, and change the order of our lanes. Or we could rename our lanes. Just double click. And give each lane a new name. Rename our comp. To remember which ones we prefer. We could also add or delete lanes manually. So I could right click. Insert empty lane above this lane. Let's do another. Or insert them at the bottom. Right here. Or delete them by right clicking. Delete lane. Or even easier, using a keyboard shortcut. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac. Just double click to delete a lane. We can delete lanes we're using easily as well. Undo that. And finally, Reaper assumes we want to use these lanes for comping, meaning we're only going to hear one lane at a time, which makes sense. But we could also use them for layering, which I'll show you more in depth in a different video. But for now, just know that we can play multiple lanes just by hitting Control on the PC, Command on the Mac to select or deselect a lane. Now we're not hearing anything. Choose lane one, two, and three. Now we'll hear all three lanes at the same time. So by default, we're going to hear one lane at a time but we could also choose multiple lanes or no lanes if we want. But by default, just clicking each one is only going to choose to hear that lane. And again, when we're done and we choose the comp we want, just right click and disable fixed lanes, or just right click the track and turn off fixed item lanes over here. And it collapses it all to just seeing one lane that we can't comp with the T key. We don't see the arrows down here and we're just seeing one track. And if we want to recomp at any point, right click, re-enable fixed item lanes, or just turn on fixed item lanes over here. Now we can recomp by double clicking over here and choosing different choices. And we're done, just disable it again. And we're back to just one lane that we can't accidentally recomp or choose the wrong lanes. And there's a few preferences for fixed lanes I want to show you. If we open up our preferences, Control P on the PC, Command Comma on the Mac, we could scroll down to our Track Send defaults, and right over here, we could change it. So when we create new tracks, there will already be fixed item lanes. And we could also change some preferences over here. We could start with small lanes, big lanes, or hide the lane buttons, which we could see if we turn it back on. Right now we're seeing small lanes. We could right click and change it to big lanes, or back to small lanes, or hide the fixed lane buttons. But we could change that or start off that way by default, just by changing them right here to small lanes, big lanes, or hide the lane buttons, or a few other options you might want to also check out. But also, if we go down to Appearance and Track Control Panel, there's an option over here worth looking at. By default, when we hit this button up here, it's going to switch 
between big and small lanes. So instead of right clicking it and switching it here, we just click it, it goes to big lanes, click it again, it goes back to small lanes. Or we can hit the shift key and click it, and that changes it to just view one lane. Shift click it again to go back, but we could change that behavior to the opposite. If we switch this to one or many lanes, now we can click this button and it goes to only view one lane. Click it again to see our many lanes, like this. Click it, it goes back to one lane view. Or we could shift click it to switch to large lanes, shift click it again to go back to small lanes. So we can get either behavior by clicking it or hitting the shift key. But we can choose our preference or what happens without the shift key by switching it right here. It defaults to big and small lanes, but we could change it to one and many lanes, which is my personal preference. So you can just click this once, it goes to one lane view, click it again, it goes back to multi lane view. Or shift click it to go to large or small lane view. So that's pretty much it. That's Track Lanes Advanced in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!